why bigger bases? Um, because they want them to look more like pizza boxes. I mean, I, you know, I, no, I, I think, I think in reality, the, the, there's a twofold element to it. One uh, is the hope that it will cut down on injury, you know, guys at first base getting stepped on. But I think the more demonstrable effect is that they want to increase stolen bases. We are at a point now in baseball where the players are infinitely more talented than they were 50 years ago. And, and that's that's not to suggest that guys in the 70s weren't good. They just weren't educated like players are now on how to take this craft and come as close to perfecting it as you can. They, they weren't training like the way that players are now. So you have more speed right now. And you have fans who love stolen bases because, of course, they love stolen bases. It's an exciting play. It's essentially mano a mano with the catcher and the runner, and the runner is trying to uh, outfox the catcher. And it's something that we've done as kids throughout our all, you know, throughout our existence. Can I beat something to a point? Can I get there faster than it can? And when you cut down, I know it's only four and a half inches, but considering it's such a bang bang play every time it's second and third base. If those four and a half inches could make all the difference in the world, and while I don't think Ricky Henderson's record is in jeopardy anytime soon, <laughs> I do think someone's going to steal 75 bases this year, and it's been a long, long time since we've seen that. Gosh. When was the last time we had somebody steal that many bases? I should probably know this, yeah, but unfortunately, yeah. I'm too far from my... See, normally, like, this is why... Radio interviews before Zoom were so wonderful <laughs> because you, I could sit you in could front of my computer it. and just type it up, and no one would know because I could type softly, and then I sound smart. Now I sound like a bumbling idiot who just doesn't know who laughs all seventy-five bases. So please, someone hit baseball reference for us. All right, let's, uh, Paulie. You want to give us some suggestions of who could be the last player to have at least seventy-five? <laughs> well, stolen. Ricky Henderson is at fourteen hundred and six stolen bases. No, but who stole seventy-five bases in a season? Most recently, yes. That was the question. D. Gordon, maybe? Oh, no, I was asking you for the answer. Jacoby Ellsbury hit 70 in 2009. That was the last right. year he was good, right? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> trying to find this. Is 70. he still getting paid by the Yankees, by the way? Yankees That's win. That's over. Yeah. That much I know. Yeah. Kenny Lofton in 96 <laughs> hit 75. Yeah. Man. Yeah, you been, to, let, let's put it this way. It's been a while. Yeah. And I... It was very interesting to me. Major League Baseball made a presentation out here a couple of days ago, and they did one in Florida yesterday, where they were sort of, uh, you know, assessing the state of the game. And in this assessment of the state of the game, they they're talking about what fans want. They did. They said they did a big, wide ranging survey, and nowhere on there was home runs, which surprised me a little bit. I, I, even with the proliferation of home runs, I still think fans love them, but stolen bases was at like the top of the list. And uh, I get it. it you know, the, I, I think stolen bases are a microcosm of where Major League Baseball has gone and maybe where it's aired, which is that they realized unless you steal bases at a 75 to 80 percent clip, it's just not a smart thing to run. And so that kind of phased out the, you know, the trying to make baseball so efficient, uh, it phased out stolen bases. And this really is an effort to bring back that lost part of the game. 